Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so the college football uh, national championship game is coming up. Um, and man, I keep going back and forth on not who I pick to win the game, but who I'm going to cheer for to win. Because um, man, I don't like Alabama. Just basically they've won 100 national titles since Saban got there. And I don't really like Ohio State kind of as a whole. Because their whole brand is the Ohio State University. As if there's another Ohio State somewhere. I mean, did I miss the memo on that? Because as far as I'm aware, there's no other Ohio State in the United States. Anyway, but there are reasons why I should pick either team to win the game. Let's look at Alabama. They are in the same conference, the SEC, as my college football team, the Missouri Tigers. And it does make the SEC look better if one of their teams uh, wins the national title. But then Ohio State, all right, they haven't won a national title in a long time. I think since the BCS era. Or there might have been one a few years ago. I can't remember. Because it seems like Alabama wins it every year. So, or, or Clemson. Sorry, forgot about Clemson. But, just the fact, in Ohio State, they, at one point in time, they weren't even going to play the season because the Big, Te Big Ten Conference said, we're not playing games this year. You know, because of all the health risks and all the unknown with the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So at one point in time, if you had told Ohio State after that announcement was made, or even like right before the announcement was made, that they would be in the national championship game against Alabama, they would have said, you know, we'll take it. But, you know, before the announcement of the cancellation of the Big Ten season, they would have said, we'll take it, but I don't know. We'll have to get through Clemson or Alabama just to even – get to the national title game and then we'd have to probably face the other in the national title game and I mean they would be for the up for the challenge but you know so they had a lot of adversity even just to get here there was a game where uh, Ryan Day wasn't able to coach because he tested positive for COVID um in the Big Ten championship game they were down a number of players because of the health and safety protocols and they still beat Northwestern. So, and Northwestern is a very good team this year. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, they are a very, very good team. And Ohio State still beat them for the conference titles. So, um, I guess if you had to ask me, like, right here, right now, who I'm going to basically actively cheer for to win the game, I guess... As of today, I am going to cheer Alabama to win. Because I feel like in this moment right here, right now, they are the lesser of two evils because I can't stand either university. So, um, I, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll change my mind. Who knows? All right, guys, so it's been approximately 24 hours. Maybe not exactly, give or take a few hours each way. But, man, I'm still wrestling with this decision. Who do I root for in the college football national title game? So, yesterday, I stated that I was going to root for Alabama mostly because of their affiliation in the same conference as Mizzou. But then I woke up this morning and realized, should I root for a team just because of that? You know, especially a team that's won a bazillion national titles since their current head coach got there. When, I mean, look at Ryan Day, head coach of Ohio State, never won a national title. Um... Then you got Justin Fields, man. He showed his grit 
in the semifinal against Clemson. Took that huge hit in the first half, and you could see him just constantly, it felt like, after that play. Every time they showed him on camera, he was wincing and like having to grit his teeth just to even stay on the field. But man, he, he came out and he was just on fire in that game. In spite of all the pain. Imagine if he was 100%. He could have been better. Maybe. Who knows? But that kid showed his toughness. And I doubt he will. But if he stays another year at Ohio State, um, I think he can win the Heisman Trophy next year. Um, this kid's got a bright future at quarterback. I just hope he goes to the right team. Not the New York Jets. Um, but... Uh, Yep, this, the sky's the limit for this kid, and um, just all of the adversity that Ohio State specifically had to face compared to Alabama. Um, just the fact that at one point in time, uh, Ohio State didn't have a season to play because the conference, the Big Ten Conference, decided for everybody. The you know because of health and safety protocols with the pandemic, they weren't going to play a season, and. So I think because of that, you know what? O-H-I-O. I'm rooting for the Buckeyes to take down Alabama for the national title. Let's do it. All right, guys. Today is the day of the national title game between Alabama and Ohio State. I've had enough of this back and forth, I being undecided on who I'm going to cheer for to win the game. As much as there's reasons why I should root for either team to win the national title game, for me, there are also plenty of reasons to root against both of them. Um, I know the game cannot end in a tie because, you know, there has to be a winner. This is one of those games that, honestly, I wish there could be no winner because I don't want either one to win, but I keep coming back to Ohio State fans and alumni and even the players, how they just continue to refer themselves as the Ohio State University. They even try to put a trademark on that, you know, and... The fact of the Ohio State brand is just overrated to me, you know. And as much as I like Justin Fields as a football player, especially with how how much toughness he showed um, in the semifinal against Clemson, and the fact that I have a ton of respect for Ryan Day as a coach and he's never won a national title, and I don't think any of these players, even the seniors or fifth-year seniors, I don't think any of them were on the national title team um, when they did end up being down to their third-string quarterback that year. Um, I think it was Cardell Jones um, that led them to that win, he, and he started off the season as the third-string quarterback. But anyway... <sighs> To me, like, there's a lot of rankings in college football. Here are some of my rankings um, on the most annoying fan bases in college football. Number one, for me, a lot of times it depends on the day, but I would say for the most part, it is Ohio State fans. Absolutely number one. Actually, scratch that. They're number two. Number one is Oklahoma. Because they're always in contention during football season and basketball season. Um, they're pretty good for the most part. Uh, especially when they had Trey Young a few years ago. But, man, when Oklahoma's good, their fans just get increasingly annoying. Because they become increasingly full of themselves. And I feel like Ohio State fans are the exact same way. The only difference is that Oklahoma fans are closer in proximity to where I live. So that makes them more annoying. But in terms of a national uh, fan base, 
in college football, cannot stand Ohio State. And I don't think I ever will. Tim Tebow could be the head coach of the Ohio State University football team, and I would still root against them to win. That's how bad it is. And I freaking love Tim Tebow. But, so at the end of the day, I think the tide will roll in this game, and Alabama's going to come out with the win in the national championship game. Uh, not just because Vegas has them favored to win by, I think, six and a half is the is the line in Vegas, although that could have changed by now. Um, and with the fact that Ohio State is worried about potentially an entire position group being um, out of the game because of COVID protocols, even if you had all those guys out there on the field, I still think Alabama wins, so... Um, hopefully if they win the national title tonight, maybe they'll be done winning national titles for a while and Nick Saban will just eventually retire, (laughs) but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So, but I guess, uh, for tonight, roll tide.